What's going on guys? I'm Flex Zero, your tech hero, and today I'm going to be installing a floating shelf in my gaming setup. Now why in the world am I installing a floating shelf, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. There's a very good reason for that. So if you watched my gaming desk setup video, I explained that there was way too many cables under the desk to cable manage. Well, by putting this floating shelf on the wall, I can use the outlet on the side of the TV to get rid of the TV cable, the PlayStation cables, and also the Nintendo Switch cables, which will make cable management under the desk a whole lot easier. Now this shelf is gonna go right here to the left of me. They do have an outlet, like I said, but that's gonna be hidden behind the PS4. And I'm gonna put the Nintendo Switch all the way on the left side. And I got plans for something in the middle. That's gonna be in a future video, but keep an eye out for that. So I guess all that really is left to do is build a shelf, right? Alright, so without a doubt, the setup looks 100% better. No question about it. Just a couple things to go over. I did completely overkill the mount. It came with 8 screws and I put in 16. Now just those 8 screws would have held up the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch fine. But, like I said, I wanted to overkill it. Honestly, I probably could have grabbed onto it and hung from it. And it wouldn't have came out the wall. Now some of you are probably saying, why didn't you put drywall anchors? Well... Behind the drywall, there's three quarter inch plywood, so I didn't need drywall anchors because the screws went straight into the plywood. I also hit a few studs, so that's a plus. Now I mounted the TV power brick behind the TV, and that also cleaned up a bunch of wires. I hid the wires from the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch as best I could, and I don't think it looks too bad. Regardless, I think adding this floating shelf improved my setup by 100, 200, 300% maybe. And I definitely could recommend that you should get a floating shelf if you have the room for it. So hey guys, help me out. Hit that like, subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.